All right, so Zoom has gone through a few changes since my last video on how to enable original sound for iPad. So I wanted to come back and make a follow-up video to clarify a few things because I know there's been some questions about how to do this. So you can still enable original sound for iPad. However, they moved the location. So I'm going to walk you through it. So let's say you're in a Zoom meeting here and you hit the more button here and you should see something that says enable original sound or disable original sound. Okay. And if you don't see that, that means you have to go into the iPad. Um, I'm sorry, the Zoom meeting settings and you have to change something and enable original sound. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to go hit the little arrow to go back to this main Zoom screen. And on the left hand side, you see there's a column of icons. The bottom one that says more and the three dots, you're going to tap that. And then you want to make sure you navigate over to settings and audio settings. Okay. Now before they had original sound in meeting settings, but it's no longer there. It's now in audio settings. So you'll see you have three options here. Audio, auto noise suppression, original sound, and personalized audio isolation, which seems to be grayed out here. But the one that we want here is original sound. So we just want to tap that, make sure it's checked, and then navigate back home, back to the meeting. And if you go down to the more button, you should now see it says enable original sound. So we would tap on that. And now original sound has been enabled. Okay, so next time you go into Zoom, let's end this meeting here. And let's create a new meeting. Okay. And we hit that more button. Okay, you should see now it says enable original sound. And we do that each time we start a Zoom meeting because Zoom doesn't remember our choice, unfortunately. But now we don't have to go navigate through all the settings. So I hope this answers your questions, guys. Let me know if you have any more problems with enabling original sound for the iPad. I'll see you in the next one.